precious, most loving. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory and praise. Thank you for your being like this. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your preservation. Thank you for causing us to be in your presence once again this morning.
of your hands wherever you are. In your heart, begin to worship Him. Begin to say something good to Him this moment. For He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the honor. Lord, we reverence you today. In all the earth, there is no God to compel me. Be magnified, O God. Be magnified. Be magnified. In every situation, be magnified. In every circumstance, Lord, be magnified. Lord, we love you. And we have come to say, be magnified. We worship you, Lord. In my eyes, oh Lord, forgive me, and I have believed in a lie. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, we are blessed today. Amen. Amen. So, I just want to uh, share you a brief history of our uh, of, 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 uh, country, Philippines, first. You know, uh, Spaniard conquered the Philippines 333 years before. So I just want to share you uh, how Philippines uh, got the freedom from from a uh, uh, government of uh, Spaniards to us. So uh, uh, you know Jose Rizal, uh, maybe you don't know, but uh, Jose Rizal is a national uh, hero in the Philippines. So he was a uh, he was a philosopher writer, uh, novelist, and uh, write a novel to fight for the freedom in the Philippines. <coughs> and uh, his, his mother uh, noticed that he uh, was, uh, was not uh, pay, paying attention to uh, his mother. So uh, her mother made a story to him. Uh, you know a uh, moth or uh, flying termite? Flying termite is uh, one of the insects uh, want to be always in the on, on the light. So so this uh, uh, mother termite and a uh, sun termite or flying termite. So the mother mother uh, flying termite has the 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 sun not to uh, go near on the light because uh, it's very dangerous when when the uh, his feather or his wings uh, touch the the light it will burn and makes him die so the sun termite was uh, uh, not listen to his mother so he go near to the to the uh, light so it was he was a burn on the on the fire uh, his mother want this um, Jose Rizal uh, not not to fight with this um, uh, Spaniard because of uh, uh, Spaniard is very strong uh, government in our in our Philippines so they cannot uh, they cannot uh, defeat this uh, government but 
uh, when he was died, so the Filipino people opened their mind to fight for the freedom, to fight for the justice on on uh, on our country. So uh, uh, this light represent as a justice and freedom in our country. So in in uh, uh, my uh, verse is uh, Psalm one nine nine uh, hundred five. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. So let's stand first and pray. <coughs> Hallelujah, Father. We praise you. We glorify your name, O Lord God. Thank you, O Lord, that you bring us in your house. O Lord, that uh, uh, we listen to your word. Uh, Lord, uh, uh, cover me with your uh, Holy Spirit, O Lord, to to uh, bring the words on them, O Lord, uh, to to speak uh, by your words, O Lord. Lord, uh, uh, thank you, O Lord, that uh, uh, you're always uh, giving me uh, wisdom and knowledge, O Lord, that uh, I can uh, speak in front of them, O Lord. Lord, uh, uh, give me uh, your uh, faithfulness, O Lord, and then. Uh, uh, give me your uh, uh, protection, O Lord. Lord, uh, thank you, O Lord, that uh, for this day, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, the word is a lamp to my feet. What is the word? Word is the Bible. Bible is a basic instruction before leaving earth. So, who made this a Bible? It's according to the Word of God, right? So, God is our uh, 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 God is the, our uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, instruction to, to, to guide us on our uh, way towards uh, his kingdom. In John 1, 1 to 6, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And the God and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. So from from the beginning the word it's mentioned there is a uh, it's our word of God. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that was being made. In him was light. And that was and that light was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness was not overcome it. So from that you believe that uh, uh, when we uh, born here in the Philippines, uh, Philippines uh, in in Earth, the word came out from uh, our mouth first is our uh, the name of uh, our Lord. We believe that I I heard this and uh, our use uh, uh, you you bless you that. Uh, uh, from from our born, we already call the name of our Lord. So just uh, uh, try it and in inhale and exhale. So when you inhale and exhale. So so continue the time. Inhale. So we are we are calling the name of the Lord Yahweh. So up to now, when we are breathing, we are calling the name of the Lord. So so uh, praise to God that uh, we are uh, up to now they are providing us the air to breathe and uh, help to uh, we are giving a uh, help. <coughs> So,
So uh, God is uh, so love us. The word that I for the God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son. Whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. So we should uh, uh, um, uh, for for His Son, we should uh, obey His command and to follow the the word of God. So. Who is the uh, the father? It's uh, Yahweh, right? So father, father is meaning uh, the father may have a parental, legal, or social relationship with child that carries with it certain right and obligation. You know the father from house from the house. He was the head of the family. He was the uh, provider. He was the he was the uh, uh, giving uh, learn to to his child. And the ori originator and transmitter of anything. So he was the uh, the father is the the give command or give the rules to the house the authority of the family or society of person animated by the same spirit as himself see who, who among you are our father now see from from your son you will notice you having at the same uh, attitude that adapts from your child right same attitude same features same um, hobby so somebody can can uh, say that oh that is uh, your child it's look like you and one who was infused his own spirit into others who uh, uh, Tweet and governs their mind. So this is like a like father, like son. So so what what uh, the, does uh, father doing? Always adopt the uh, children. Why we should see God as a, our Abba Father? In the Bible, there's a three verse. Uh, mention Abba Father in Mark 14:36. This was uh, Jesus uh, um, uh, say mentioned mentioned by Jesus and Romans 8:15, Galatians 4:6 was mentioned by uh, Paul. So from Abba means an Aramic word for father. So why is it Abba, father, father, father? From Mark 14.36 Abba, father, he said, said Jesus, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me yet not what I will but what you will when Jesus called Abba Father in the uh, Garden of Gethsemane Jesus said it it has a way of acknowledging the power of God and uh, greatness that will come to happen on his crucifixion it's like Jesus show humbleness towards his father from um, Romans 15 8 15 for you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear but 
you have received the spirit of adoption as son by whom we cry Abba Father so this was a uh, Paul mentioned and Galatians Galatian 4 6 because you are his son God sent the spirit of his son into our heart the spirit calls who calls out Abba Father so when uh, as we know uh, Paul Paul's life transformed from a uh, Christian hater to a lover of Christ you know that from from Saul to Paul before he was a Christian persecutor but now after encountering Jesus in uh, Damascus Road remember that uh, 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 verse uh, from Acts so when when uh, Saul was traveling from uh, Damascus so he was uh, fell down from from a uh, road and uh, totally his, his uh, 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 eyes cannot see that uh, from the Damascus road that uh, changed his Christian pros perspective and wrote his faith unto God on his letter to the church of Rome and Galatia it proclaims that they are now all the God, the children of God like he had become they all know have the spirit of Jesus as he did justifying the calling of Abba Father so 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 these are three verse it's a uh, mention of uh, Abba Father from uh, Jesus who says that uh, Abba Father and and uh, uh, Paul so again in uh, Romans 18 so we see here the spirit of adoption spirit of adoption is the redemption or salvation of our body so we we need to accept Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ was uh, uh, died on the cross and rose again so we need to accept Jesus Christ to have this uh, redemption and salvation to our body so through Jesus we can uh, go directly to God And here in Romans 8.23 And not only they, but ourselves also which have the first fruit of the Spirit, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit and redemption of our body. So here that uh, uh, also Paul saying that we need to receive this uh, spirit of uh, Lord Jesus Christ, so we can we can uh, uh, say that uh, we are the Son of God. God is a perfect example of of uh, what a father should be. From. Uh, uh, Luke 15 22 24 you know the the uh, prodigal son prodigal son so uh, his son was taking uh, all the the uh, what do you call this uh, uh, the inherit from from his uh, father so he take all the the things from from his father and then left away so but but the father said to his uh, servant quick bring the best robe and put it into him put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet bring the fatted cow and kill it let's have a feast and celebrate for 
the for this son for for this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. So see from from here when when this uh, son was lost and when he came back so his father gave the best best uh, things to him so even even we uh, i am a father already so see when when my kids are uh, having a stubborn or uh, having a um, uh, not good to us or not good to others but you're still uh, giving them a uh, uh, forgiveness and uh, uh, you, you still accept them what they are so the characteristic of the good father so it is a uh, forgiveness he forgave his son who is wonder the wealth and reckless living. So, so see, uh, the, the characteristic of the, uh, this father. So, uh, we should also be like uh, this uh, father. Acceptance. He accepts his son in spite of what, he, what the son did. So whatever uh, this uh, uh, son was done for, for his father, for his family, for to whom, but still he accepted. So time, the father was always waiting for his son to come back. So for long time, long time the, the father is waiting for this uh, his son, but when when he come back, so he accepted immediately and give them the uh, best to him. Healing and health. Hunger, hard labor, and extreme poverty through pains and sickness to the son. But the father embraced him and asked the servant to kill the fatted cult to celebrate. <coughs> See the, the heart of the father. Even, even was uh, uh, squandered the wealth and not uh, doing good to him but still we accept it and uh, <coughs> give the best empowerment he ordered the ring robe and shoes to give to his uh, son it was the symbol of the restoration of authority as a son you know, I am also a son. I I'm doing uh, to my family, to my um, yeah. They call me as a uh, you know black sheep because I'm the one who was always uh, uh, give troubles or getting in troubles. I was always a. Uh, 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 from 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 my family, from our fam uh, my family, I was the uh, you know giving embarrass to others. I'm always uh, uh, they they are saying um, how why why your son always uh, in the school why your son always having this uh, low grade by your your other uh, sibling, um, my siblings are give, having a good grades or having always in the honor, but I'm the the low the low uh, profile. It's like that, low profile. And and my my father and my mother was. I feel was not uh, like me because of that uh, uh, giving them always in trouble. So res uh, resources. He ordered his servant to give everything he needs. But you know, 
my parents, my parents, even even though the time I like that, they accept me. They give me uh, what I want. Up to now, they give me support. So for my kids, they're um, they're the one who care for them. So so uh, we are uh, that that to uh, to to give uh, this heartache to our parents just to love them. Oh, it's very fancy. So, for, for this uh, uh, conclusion, so in John 1, 2, yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. So, so we are a children of God. So if you uh, receive and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, we can call our God as our Abba Father. So, you know, Father, as a father also, uh, you are feeling, feeling, uh, uh, having a pain on your heart when you when you see your your children are in a, a, a bad condition. You just uh, need you, you want them to to guide them any anywhere, but your your children is not a, not a following you sometimes, but. It's, still your heart are still want to guide them along the way uh, along their uh, uh, pathway uh, up to uh, uh, I don't know all this is uh, up to they getting older they you want them to to guide them and and uh, protect them so glory to God so uh, let's stand and and uh, pray. Abba Father, uh, we thank you, our Lord, that uh, for for your uh, holy word, our Lord, our Lord God. Thank you, Lord, that you give me your wisdom and knowledge, our Lord, your spirit, that your in truth uh, I can. Uh, uh, let them to, to understand, O oh Lord. Lord, uh, we pray, O oh Lord, that you alone uh, on high, O oh Lord, uh, we can give you our uh, uh, respect and uh, uh, honor you, O oh Lord. Lord, uh, we thank you that you are always having a faithfulness to us, O oh Lord. You always uh, guide us, O oh Lord. Through thick and thin, O oh Lord, that uh, you always uh, 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 being with us, O oh Lord. Um, Lord, uh, we all know, O oh Lord, that uh, uh, any anything that we having uh, doing a sin, O oh Lord, you always uh, forgive us, O oh Lord. You always uh, accept us, uh, whatever we do, O oh Lord. But, Lord. Uh, we all always uh, pray, O oh Lord, to to be um, good in your eyes, O oh Lord. Lord, uh, thank you, O oh Lord, that uh, you always uh, giving us uh, your your uh, uh, Holy Spirit be upon us, O oh Lord, that uh, through our uh, pathway uh, be. Uh, your your word, O oh Lord, uh, our our light on our feet, O oh Lord, through you give give us a uh, straight direction through your uh, kingdom, O oh Lord. Uh, we thank you, O oh Lord. We glorify your name in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Praise God.
So uh, through the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have a confidence to call our Father. Amen? Amen. Amen. So now we will proceed to our tithes and offering. So uh, for that, uh, there's one story that once upon a time, there's one uh, minis uh, minisuna, uh, missionary that went to the mountains where the means of transportation there is uh, riding in the horse only. So while he, he is in this uh, uh, place, he did not notice that already uh, evening so but uh, they encouraged him to sleep over but he 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 forced himself to back in the town so while he is in the in his way because he is not familiar with the way there sad, uh, because of the, uh, he felt he felt in that leap so while he is breaking the ground he prayed to god that he will help him so God answered him immediately, and then suddenly there is one road that he can hold. So while he is hanging that uh, road, so road, he prayed to God again that, Lord, I don't want to die as of now. Then help me. Then God answered him immediately and said, Do you trust me? God said to him. So, yes, Lord, I trust to you. I trust you. He said that. Okay, if you trust me, release your hand you're holding the Lord but this ministry of God he refused to release because he's thinking if he will release his hand he, his bones will be broken so he did not obey God while he's hanging in the tree so until the morning come and then when he see the ground, there's only a set 10 centimeters before he reaches the ground. The reason why he did not obey God because he's focusing in his situation. Amen? Sometimes in our life, we cannot give our tithes because we are focusing in our financial situation. Amen? But God, when we obey his word, and bring the whole tithes into the storehouse that there may be Put in my house, test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the blood gates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will be no, not be wrong enough to that story. And then 11, I will prevent pests from devouring your crops and the vines in your fields will not drop their fruit before it's cry, says the Lord Almighty. Then all the nation will call you blessed. For you will be a delightful land, say the Lord Almighty. Amen. So when we, God in this verse is uh, asking us to try Him. Amen. So if we are giving our tithes to our God, there is a lot of benefits that we will, there is amazing benefits that we will receive. Amen. But he said, there will be food in the house of God and we will eat. Amen? So, we will be open the windows of heaven and provide to us. So, means to say God will open a new opportunities for us if we are giving our tithes and opening. He will pour out a blessing that we won't be wrong enough to receive them. So, means to say, if your room is poor by poor only, means so it's not enough to restore this one. Amen? Meaning, overflow with blessing that we will receive. And then he said, he will rebuke the devourer for us. And then people will call us blessed and we will be a delightful to the Lord. Amen? So our only responsibility is to try and probe him. Amen? To give our tithes and operate. So can we stand up and pray our tithes? Hallelujah. Uh, Lord, we glorify you and we magnify you. God. Lord, thank you so much, Lord God, for this uh, privilege, Lord God to honor you, Lord God, to give you thanks, God, what you've done in our life. Lord, thank you so much for this money, Lord God, to be collected, Lord God. Uh, bless, Lord God, uh, the work of the hands of your people, Lord God. We pray, O Father, uh, new opportunities, Lord God, will come, Lord God, and uh, new opportunities for those also, Lord God, seeking job, Lord. And continue, Lord, to bless, Lord God, uh, the companies of my brethren, Lord God, where they are working, Lord God, Bless them, O Lord God, and, uh, and this money to be collected, Lord God, we will be used only for your glory alone. This is our prayer, thanksgiving. This time we pray, Amen and Amen.
Did you know the characters of the Father? Our Heavenly Father? Do you know the characters that He, Kuya Clarence, spoke to us? Do you know that our Father loves us unconditionally? Right? Now, if He loves unconditionally, it does not mean that He will also love because we are sinners, right? He loves us, that's why He gave His Son, Jesus Christ, so that we can all get redeemed of the sin that we have in our life. And that's why, sometimes, you know, sometimes we always say that Father God loves us unconditionally, so even I keep saying, He will love me. No, God does not love the sinner. Sorry, God does not love the sin. He loves the sinners, right? And He hates the sin in the life of us. And that was the story of His son that was spoken, the prodigal son that was taken in the book of uh, Mark and John, and also that it speaks about it, right? Now, my point here, here is that, do you know that God has saved you for a purpose? Do we all know that God has saved us for a purpose? Amen. Right? And what is our purpose on this life? You know, sometimes we always put our purposes like food, clothes, shelter, money, house, life, everything. But that's, Bible says, and God says, that is already for, there for us. We don't have to beg God for our food. We don't have to beg God for our job. We don't have to beg God for our clothes because Bible says everything is provided to you. Are you with me? What we need to do is that we need to turn our faith into the things that we put into the world and we should put our faith in God. Right? We need to put our faith in God. And I'm telling you, when you start to pay, put your faith in God, your mind starts to change, your heart starts to change. And you know that you have a powerful God. You know that the whole maker of the universe is with you. Not only with you, the Bible says, He is in you. Right? When God is in you, you don't have to shout in prayer. Because He is in you, He can listen to your prayer also. Right? Are you getting my point? Yes, we shout because of our emotions. We shout because of our things. God does not mind those things. But the important thing is that God lives in us. And His love is in us. So we should trust Him for everything. And our purpose in life, as you have found Jesus, I have found Jesus. How did we found Jesus? Did Jesus came to us? Did Jesus came to us? How did we found Jesus? Because somebody prayed for us, somebody shared the love of God to us. And what that somebody was doing the purpose of God. And same thing with us also. Once we have received Jesus Christ, we have a purpose, right? And our purpose is to tell the goodness of God, to proclaim the goodness of God, to proclaim the salvation to our people. Right? We need to do that. Because that's what God is calling us to do. That we need to, not only that you need to look for your own people also, you have been, I have been called to share the gospel to the whole humanity. When I say whole humanity, it does not matter which nationality the person is, we all need to share the love of God to them. Right? Agree? Agree? And that again, I'm putting it into your heart today. Do not worry about the things of this world. Do not worry about the material things of this world. God knows that you are His child and He is already giving to you. Time will come, you will experience those things in your life, right? Now, the, the announcement for the announcement that we have. Anybody here who came for the first time among us? Yes, brother, can you stand? Can you stand? Yes. Come here. Anybody? Yes, come, come. Any, oh, uh, yes, first time, come. First time? Hmm. No, no, no. <laughs> You're the first time, right? Come. <laughs> He wants to sing a little bit. That's why he's excited. Right? And we have two brothers here who came here for the first time. And we would like to know about them. First thing, brother, your name. Which country you are? Belongs to them. which country? Where are you staying in Dubai? In the UAE, where are you staying? And who invited you in this church? Amen. Yeah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And my name is Kendi. Popularly called Ken. Yes, I'm from Nigeria. I stay in uh, Bodu by Pandera there, over there. Uh, I can tell about this my friend. We stay together. It's my friend. We stay together. 
His name is Langley. He's in Nigeria too. So we stay together at the same address. Where you can, you can see it by yourself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, my name is Lauren. I'm from Nigeria as well. Stay together. That's it. Who invited you here? That's the white man sitting in there, right? His name is Kuya Albert. Albert. Praise God. We welcome our brothers here in the midst of us. Brother, this is the Jesus is Alive community. When I say community, it's more than a church. It's a community where all people of God to come together and lift the name of Jesus Christ high, right? We are doing this. And this is a special service that we do for an African people, for the international people, so they can come and be a part of this service. So you are all welcome every week, one o'clock. Here we meet, one, two, three p.m., right? That this year. Okay, see you. Now, anybody here who wants to share the love of God, who wants to just testify? But God has done great things in your life, even in despite of all the troubles, despite of all the things, God has done a great thing in your life. Anybody want to testify the goodness of God? Anybody want to testify the goodness of God or you want to give offer something to God in return by giving a thanksgiving or thanking God for anything? Anybody here? Yes, come to them. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to return all the glory to God for His mercies over my life and over my family. Uh, that was uh, last week. I was called upon and told that my mom was uh, so ill. And uh, it was a very big distraction to me, honestly speaking, because I was actually at the rehearsal, we were rehearsing, and the call came. I couldn't stay anymore because. I, 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 I don't play with my mom. <laughs> yeah, I don't play with her. So I, the destruction was much. So I left the rehearsal place. I, I got home and I prayed. I also messaged uh, uh, Kuya Malon. I told him and he promised me also to put her in prayers. But I'm here to return all the glory to God because today he is very sound and okay. And I say, may the God of this commission be praised. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God for the great healing that He has provided for us through Jesus Christ. Anybody else want to testify? Nobody? Okay, let's go further. And we are having in G International, Jesus is Alive International Dubai. This is what we call Jesus Alive International Dubai community, where we are meeting every Friday, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. further. And if you miss this in the morning, uh, afternoon service, we will also have a morning service where you can also be part of it that is called every Friday 9.45 to 12 p.m. But my heart is that you attend the second service more because you will be having your own kind of people and we have a own kind of worship because morning service is all for the windows in the time in the morning. So it will be it will be difficulty. But I encourage everybody to attend. If you miss anyway, you can always welcome in the morning service. Then also we have what we call midweek service, which people have work on Friday and they're not able to attend on Friday. We have for them Sunday evening, 8 p.m. in Alcori, and then also we have every Tuesday also 8 p.m. in Alcori. So whichever time you are able to come, you can just walk into the service. And then we have also have several services, but we actually Jesus is alive is spread all over the UAE. We have churches all over the UAE. We have 10 churches in Dubai and 10 churches in other part of the UAE. So we have already 20 churches here. And if you have any friends, family, anybody that you want them to come to the community in LA, sorry, in Abu Dhabi, in Sharjah, in Ajman, Ras al Kemal, Fujairah, or Umal you can always contact us. You let us know. You can contact Clarence, you can contact Eric about it, and they will help you to connect with these churches. Go further. We have also a cell group that will be number 21 near Sakwa Clinic every Saturday. And can Brother Albert stand? He's the one who can contact him for this cell group. The cell leader is Sister Tess, but she's there in Villa number 20. Anybody here from Villa number 21? No, because they have work. Okay, let's go. From F11 cell group, anybody here? Right? You are there, yes? So she's there. No, no, go back. Don't rush. At the back of Almaya supermarket, every Friday, every Saturday, you can contact, you know, 
Brother Albert, and even our sister is here. She's a part of this sun group. Then what is important, I will explain to you later. That's further. Anybody here from Al Khawani sun group? Hey, right? You have a brother from Al Khawani sun group. Let's go further. It's just every Saturday. And everybody from Nakil sun group, anybody here? Only Kuya Angel, right? Eh? Because this is a working sun group. They do after the work, right? I believe this is after the work they do it. Eh? So, now important of the cell groups, why we are emphasizing on the small groups, you know? And then to get the better picture, I will call you, brother, come. What do you experience here, sir? Come, I will interview you now. <laughs> what do you experience when you have a small group in the house? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Our episode is where, by the grace of God, as how it is now, we are going that God is alive. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Because that's where it happens. You know, in the church we have only limited time. But in Bible study, we can say, I will ask also this sister to come. Come and explain, experience about your Bible study. Praise the Lord. During the Bible study is the time that we don't rush, we take time to study the Bible and go in deeper things that we cannot do it in church. Amen. Yeah. And we have much more understanding in the world of God. Thank you. Now you understand about the being planted into the Bible study? Now if you don't have a Bible study and you want to open a Bible study in your place, no, we are willing to come to your place, right? We are willing to come to your place. So please contact always Kuya Eric and Kuya Clarence and Kuya Albert and Kuya Hansen, if you want to open a Bible study in your place, we are willing to come and we are willing to help you in that place, right? Because in Bible study, you will really grow. Right? You will never grow coming to the church because in the church, sometimes we come on Friday just to fellowship, but the real growth is in the Bible study because we want everybody of you to become a disciple of Christ. Amen? So that's what that's what we are having. At least we have four Bible study that can cater you. But if you're staying in Sattva, if you're staying in Kavani, if you're near Nakhil Arbor Station, and you are a nearby place, you can join this Bible study. That is, Saturday we have three Bible studies, and Wednesday we have one Bible study. Go for that. Now, we saw that we have Brother Philip is leading the worship, Victor is giving a backup, and if you want to be part, you know, be a part of the African worship team, please contact Kuya Marlo. He will help you, train you to become a good, you know. Brother Philip is good, and we appreciate that he has said yes, and we are happy the way the things are happening, right? If you want to be part of it, you can contact Marlon. Marlon is sitting there. He's our pastor of the CMA, and then he will help you with that. Go further. Anybody wants to go to water baptism? I think there's one brother who will be going to the water baptism so next week. We are going to schedule his baptism. We Eric will help and take the details with Victor and talk after the service. Because next week we are not here. Next week I'm going to Tanzania and Uganda. Right? We are moving there. We are going there. And we have a mission. This is our time landing. And after praying also that one day we will be also into Kenya and Nigeria. Because we are trying, we are not only being a part of this year because we are also going into your own country because we want to experience and we want to see the work of the Lord we all together experience, right? So anything, even you know, if you want to see the video, if you want to see anything that you want to listen to the preaching that has happened, you can always go to the, type this Jia Dubai Media on YouTube and you will find all the pictures, and all the, sorry, all the services uploaded and you can see and you can listen to what the teaching is all about. Go further. Anybody? God bless you all, right? Amen. So, praise God. Again, I tell you, if you have friends, if you have family members, if you meet people around it, you know, we have many, many people that God is bringing, not only I think Nigerians and other national, the Cameroon or anything, all African nationals are welcome in this place, right? We will all together worship the living God. So let's all stand and let's give a closing prayer. Before closing prayer, anybody want to dance? Anyone want to sing? Yes, brother, come, brother God. Just sit down. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I just want everybody to feel the presence of God. And the title of my song.
song it's God is Yahweh Amen, Amen. Praise the Lord How God is indescribable Its name is hallowed in the firmament
because you are greater young than I am. The Lion of Tribe of Judah will bow to you this morning, this afternoon, Father. If our body is full of mud, have we to glorify your holy name for all that we do in our life, Jesus Christ. Father, what is your name, O oh Lord? Father, if our body is full of mud, never we to glorify your holy name for your goodness and mercy in our life. Father, thank you for today. Father, as you are true for the service of today, O oh Lord. Father, as you are about to go home, we ask you to come and take us home back. Safety in the name of Jesus. Father, I can do the fire of the Lord more in our heart in the name of Jesus. Father, let your wish be always what will be urgent, what we will be longing to be doing in the name of Jesus. Father, as you are going home, this is new week, O oh Lord. Father, be with us throughout the week. And bring us back here safely so that we only must be highly glorified in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. For those that are looking for job, O oh Lord, Father, grant them, they give them the dream, their job, the job that they are dreaming for in the name of Jesus. Father, we glorify your holy name. Father, we will continue to be thanking you, O oh Lord, because you say that in any circumstances we should glorify your holy name. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, I am that I am as all we say. Amen. Amen.